Hello and welcome to SBS Academy, the digital space where you get an opportunity to learn English with Shucharita. With quality content and that too absolutely free of cost, this online portal will enable you to be efficient in communication and soft skills for success in the corporate world. Like, follow and subscribe to the portal on Facebook and YouTube for SBS tips, reels, shorts and detailed videos on communicative English and soft skills. The content for this week is Understanding Nonverbal Cues in Virtual Communication Part 1. Let's take a look at the lesson summary and what you can take away from this content. First, we are going to start with the original query posted, followed by why virtual communication is considered the norm post-pandemic, followed by what are the limitations of body language in the virtual space of communication. Fourth, elements of non-verbal cues during virtual communication. Next, we shall take a look at the role of non-verbal communication in virtual communication. Then followed by the very, very important tips and tricks and do's and don'ts of non-verbal cues in virtual communication. Followed by rounding off the session with a proper conclusion. And finally, there's a request for you to check the description box for channel links and reference links. This query has been posted by Shubhadeep Ganguly, a former student of mine and a civil engineer at present. Though he has requested for a couple of more topics to be covered, we shall focus on this one at the moment, as this topic is extremely relevant in the present new normal. To cover the full topic in its entirety would have made the video a lengthy one, so we have split it up. This is part 1. And the final part shall come up on 29th August. So stay tuned and keep a close eye for the notifications. Are you aware of the fact that virtual communication has superseded traditional meetings? Do you know that there are limitations of body language in virtual communication? In recent times, a number of organizations are embracing the digital workspace long term to enable collaboration with the workforce of telecommuters. Companies are leveraging a host of technology, especially video conferencing tools. Needless to say, these virtual meetings often leave much to be desired and the limited parameters of the platform can set the stage for miscommunication and indeterminacy. While a virtual meeting may lack the richness of communication and body language inherent in a face-to-face -face interaction, there are many ways individuals can level up their nonverbal communication to maximize this limited space. The use of nonverbal cues in conjunction with verbal content can confirm comprehension. These remote interactions can take longer to process because of the additional effort required to ensure that everyone is in complete understanding. It is useful to ask questions and confirm understanding orally as the absence of intervention can generate unwanted results. Now we come to a very pertinent question that which kind of non-verbal cues should we look out for during virtual communication? There are quite a number of it but we have zeroed down 16 most important cues which we have listed over two slides. Let's take a look. First is appropriate presentation followed by appropriate attire that is dressing, accessories and grooming. Third. Maintaining a correct posture. Number four, facial expressions. Number five, avoid touching face, hair and mouth frequently. Number six, hand gestures. Number seven, eye contact. Number eight, smile. 
The second set of non-verbal cues include taking up space on the camera, paying attention, observing clues, noticing the recipient's body language, prioritizing empathy and understanding, taking pause literally and figuratively, learning from past presentation and questioning yourself. What is the role or what are the functions of nonverbal cues in virtual communication? First, repetition. Your body language may serve to repeat and strengthen your verbal message. Second, contradiction. Your nonverbal signals may even contradict the message you are trying to convey. These nonverbal truth slips indicate to your listeners that you may not be telling the truth. Third, substitution. Nonverbal communication can be a substitute for verbal message. There is a reason why our eyes are called the windows to our soul. They often convey a lot more than words ever can. Complementing. Body language may add or complement your verbal messages. For instance, a thumbs up is a good way to increase the impact of your message when you are showering praise on somebody. Finally, accenting. The body language may often accent a verbal message. For example, pounding the table underlines the importance of your message. It is important to choose an appropriate image that isn't too playful or comical. This connection can ultimately help you build relationships and feel connected with your co-workers. Avoid setting up a green screen having a beach or a flashy background, which is not appropriate for a corporate setting. Instead, a solid colored background or a bookshelf in the backdrop may look good. A sloppy environment sends the message that you are disorganized and careless. Messy areas may be a symptom of larger problems such as inefficiency, which stems from an inability to find files or other important documents. Disorganization creates stress and limits productivity. Instead of creating vertical piles on your desk, rely on to-do files that can be stored inside a drawer. Your attire communicates a lot to other participants about who you are. You should dress for every situation. Even if you plan only on showing yourself from chest up, make sure that you are wearing appropriate clothing from head to foot. It is best to lean towards natural makeup for job interviews. Bring understated attention to your eyes with some black and neutral toned eye makeup. The same goes for skin and lip makeup. Use your outfit as a guide for choosing subtle accessories. Next, we are going to take a look at some of the postures which are not deemed appropriate during virtual conversations. First is leaning on the desk. Do not lean on the desk as this makes you look as if you are bored and uninterested in the conversation. Again, do not lean back in your chair as this can set an impression that you are unbothered by the conversation and this is again not a very professional gesture. Never cross your arms as this can mean that not only that you are not paying attention to the conversation but this lends an air of arrogance about your personality and attitude. Also, do not fidget in your seat or bounce your legs or tilt from side to side when you are speaking because this appears very very distracting. Instead, translate that energy through hand gestures. Let's take a look at some of the postures which are considered appropriate during virtual communication. First, frame the video camera in such a way that it allows the attendees to see how you are sitting. Sit towards the edge of the seat and not against the backrest which can easily lead to slouching. 
sitting on the edge of the seat with your back straight, shoulders straight and heads up convey the message that you are alert and attentive. Try to sit closer to the edge of your seat so as to look engaged in the conversation. Relax and expand your shoulders to show that you are confident and fully attentive in the meeting. This boosts the confidence of the attendees and helps those in the meeting to see you engaged. Let's take a look at the list of facial expressions you should not wear in a virtual meeting. Remember, your face will be taking up a significant portion of the screen and even before you say anything, participants will judge your attitude from your facial expressions. So relying on facial expressions will go a long way towards minimizing the risk of miscommunication. Refrain from making any inadvertent gestures with your eyes and mouth. Avoid touching your face unless you wish to convey frustration or exasperation. You also should avoid wetting your lips or biting the inside of your cheeks out of sheer nervousness. While attending virtual meetings, avoid frowning, staring or any facial expression that may have an impact on the conversation and the person you are speaking to. Next, we shall explore the facial expressions you ought to display in a virtual meeting. Facial expressions are always amplified in the virtual space. So feel free to exaggerate the intentional gestures like widening of your eyes to express surprise or excitement, a furrowed brow to express concern or uncertainty, smile accordingly. Exaggerating these Intentional non-verbal cues will help you differentiate them from any inadvertent gestures as listed in the slide just before this you might make. You want to have a slight smile throughout and also raise your eyebrows a little to show engagement and enthusiasm throughout the conversation. Facial expressions are important as you want the person you are speaking to to feel comfortable and confident to have a successful virtual meeting. How to manage your hand gestures during virtual conversation. Set the camera in such a way so that you can use your hands to give important non-verbal cues. Try to remain still with the eyes focused on the screen when it is not your turn to speak. And when your turn comes, take full advantage of the non-verbal cues. Use your hands when you are speaking to others throughout the meeting. This makes it appear like you are engaged and enthusiastic about the conversation. Use your hands when you are counting something or indicating how big or small something is. Simple gestures like these can be used throughout the meeting to make the conversation more natural, as though you are speaking face to face. Use your hands to command or divert attention accordingly. Online is the new normal, including those virtual meetings you find yourself attending several times a day, every day. Although you are not actively Interacting with these people face to face, it is still important that your body language is correct and that you are communicating with others in a professional manner. These are just a few top tips on improving your body language when attending virtual meetings. It isn't the easiest to get used to having several virtual meetings a day however. As this is the new normal, it is essential to consider how much work your body language is doing for you during the conversation and it is important to come across as a confident and engaging professional with the people you are speaking to. Keep these in mind for the next virtual meeting you may have. We appreciate you taking out time for watching our videos and we have full consideration that your schedule is precious. This is a lengthy lesson and preparing one long video on the full topic would not have been a feasible option. To do full justice to the lesson 
and not compromise on the quality of the study material, we have decided to split the content into separate parts. The link of the other part of the lesson has been attached in the description box. Do watch both the videos from first to last to become more empowered with employability skills only at SB's Academy. Thanks for watching the video. Like, share and comment on what else you would like us to cover. Subscribe to the channel on YouTube and follow the page on Facebook. For SB's tips, reels, posts, videos on communicative English and soft skills. Happy learning!